bet you wouldn't check it out and check it out because the one shot rack these days, man, it's escalating to heights of fuckery, right? If you guys don't know the normal players that you guys are used to, right? The niggas who jerseys got sold out last season. Niggas got MVP, most valuable savage, the biggest coons. They're in jail facing 30 to 60. The Wolverine facing 30 to 60. However, the remaining savages, okay, it's like a new breed. It's like when Majin Buu, because I got to paint the picture. It's like when Majin Buu came to Earth and Goku died and other niggas had to step up to the game. Niggas was fusing Gogeta and all that shit. You got to build your name right about now. However, okay, there is two savages you guys probably should know. You should know these two, okay? First of all, Shyrax Vegeta, P. Rico, he's still out here. He's snatching chains like he's collecting Dragon Balls. He wants to summon the motherfucking dragon that he could get a savage spirit bomb, all right? But then we got another savage. His name is 600 Breezy. Now, that's my early vote for Rookie of the Year. Not because he's new, no. But in the war in Chirac, the second season, from the looks of it, he's Chirac's Max Payne, a double barrel, double wielding savage who looks like he's about to really have a breakout year. Okay, now apparently P. Rico and of course 600 Breezy, they don't like each other. They're on different teams, different gangs. To keep it real, apparently they're like ops, all right? Now, here's the thing. Because fans, they're always doing extra investigative work for me. They send me a bunch of proof. You know what I mean? Fans actually thought that P. Rico snatched the chain of 600 Breezy because the chain that P. Rico was wearing looked a lot like one that 600 Breezy always wears. Okay? And P. Rico apparently been out here literally in these streets. So... Listen, people said, hey, and this was a fan tweeting me this, okay? They said this. Hey, bro, the chains P. Rico had on Instagram looked like the one 600 Breezy is wearing. 600 Breezy, the king of 600. Could you look into it? Now, 600 Breezy wasn't into no fucking looking into. He responded immediately. He said this. What you trying to say? You trying to say he robbed me or I robbed him because I got all my motherfucking jewelry on. Then he put some in insanely demonic emoji. Now, he then, of course, finished it off by saying this. Just know, P. Rico a bitch, and he a die attempting to rob me, and he too broke for me. I don't want his fake ass ice. Now, that pretty much solves it all. Apparently, there's no robbery that went down. P. Rico did not rob 600 Breezy, but of course, it looks like these guys don't like each other. Now, who's broke? There's been a lot of allegations of who's broke, who's not rich. Okay, listen. We did get some proof that that uh, uh, Shyrax Vegeta was actually going into Super Savage 4 with fake Jordans before, but we don't know. But listen, hopefully these guys make some music. I've actually been listening to some of these other guys' music, so hopefully they could keep rocking out. You got to make some hits, though. Listen, uh, by the way, 600 Breezy, I'm telling you, I think he might be the next one. I think so, but we'll see. I don't want to. I don't want to put a hex on them all, fucking. Then all of a sudden, it's something bad happens. So hopefully, these guys stay the fuck away from each other. Don't get robbed. I mean, how, how the fuck is niggas getting robbed? How are you getting robbed in Chirac these days? <laughs> how? Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe. Your boy, Jackie Demix. I'm out.